Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the cabin air filter on a 2015 Lincoln MKZ hybrid. This is the same process on all Lincoln MKZ 2013 to 2020 with slight differences on the 2017 to 2020 models, but basically it's the same procedure. I'm aiming to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, so help me out by hitting that like and subscribe button. Thank you. I will make a video on my 2019 Lincoln MKZ as well, so stay tuned for that. For this project, you're going to need a 7mm socket with a ratchet, a flathead screwdriver, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Start off by emptying out all the crap from your glove box and place it to the side. Next, grab your 7mm socket and ratchet and start to remove these two bolts up here. Make sure to put the bolts in a safe spot so you don't lose them. Now you can use your flat head screwdriver to gently pry out this plastic piece on the side. Once you have an opening, use your hand to pull out the rest of the plastic piece. Very gently pull the glove box towards you, but be aware that there is a wire connection for the light in the glove box. You'll have to unplug that wire in order for you to get the glove box out completely. Finally, you have two Phillips head screwdrivers to remove on the air filter cover. So grab your screwdriver and remove them. And make sure do not lose the screws. Use your hands to gently open the case. The plastic cover is sensitive, so make sure you don't break it. Once it's opened, slowly pull out the old air filter from the housing. Look how dirty it is. I replace my cabin air filters once every year or every 40,000 kilometers. You may have to replace it sooner depending on how much you drive and the environment you live in. I ordered a replacement on Rock Auto. It's called TYC Cabin Air Filter. It was about 12 US dollars and it's the mid-grade carbon activated filter. The expensive ones are 30 US dollars and over. When comparing the new and old filter, they're both the same size, but the new one is a tad bit thinner. If you look at the older one, you can see that the filter was not evenly used. This is because the old filter got crumpled inside the housing when I installed it last year. So you have to make sure the filter is the correct thickness, otherwise you'll, your filter will get crumpled inside the housing, thus affecting filter performance. Grab your new air filter and slowly insert it into the housing. Make sure the airflow arrow is facing down. This filter went in very smoothly, which ensures me that it didn't crumple inside. If you have a hard time inserting your filter, chances are that it will crumple inside. Put the Phillips screws back into the housing and make sure it's not overly tight. Turn on the car and make sure your blower fan works before putting back the glove box. Grab your glove box and make sure you attach the glove box light connection before securing the box into place. Align the clips on all four corners and gradually push the glove box until they are locked in.
Now you can install back the two 7mm bolts above the glove box. Make sure to just hand tight them. You can put the side plastic cover back on. It's just held by a bunch of clips. And of course you can throw all your junk back into the glove box now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions just comment down below. Thank you.